it's really been the dream of all of us to participate in the test of a new vehicle. And a vehicle like a spacecraft is uh, probably the, the gem, if you will, of a career for folks. And so I would have been uh, uh, embarrassed as a test pilot school graduate to not have jumped at the opportunity if it was offered to me to fly a new spacecraft. So hopefully I'll get that chance soon. I would say that uh, one of the things that really gave us the opportunity to, to be ready for this is all those systems on the space station or on the space shuttle that we had to learn in order to be prepared for a space flight. So it really has set us up for a mindset of learning new things and being ready for whatever comes at us. And so we've always had so much information that we've had to absorb. I think uh, for us, as the, the commercial Kukade identified by NASA, uh, we're really going to be integral uh, with the partners, both with SpaceX and Boeing, as they prepare vehicles for us to launch into space. And so building that partnership, that relationship, where we are uh, uh, shoulder to shoulder uh, with these companies as they build this vehicle is really going to be how we're instrumental in making sure the vehicles are ready for the, the first flights when the time comes. I think as we've, uh, we've seen over the last maybe 10 months or so where we've lost uh, three different cargo vehicles, uh, a Cygnus vehicle, a Progress vehicle, and a SpaceX uh, cargo vehicle all headed to space station, we understand the criticality of having redundancy and being able to keep the space station both supplied uh, as well as populated with uh, healthy crews. And so uh, I think the uh, events over the last 10 months have really made it clear as to why we would need to have some redundancy. Of course, we'll be more careful of, with uh, vehicles that have humans on board, but that might mean standing down and having the capability to launch on another vehicle is gonna provide us that. So I would say the lifetime of space station, it's, it's critical that we get this additional capability. Uh, for me, I think uh, for astronauts that are getting ready to be assigned to a flight, I really look towards uh, the Swiss Army knife, if you will, the person who could uh, do a spacewalk, do some robotics, uh, had a test background if that was required for the mission at hand. And so really looking for a crew member that kind of touches all the bases and, and covers all those facets was really critical kind of going forward. I like to think of myself as one of those uh, Swiss Army knife sorts of astronauts who uh, uh, may me not be the best at, uh, at everything that's out there, but uh, better than average at all of them, which uh, I think uh, goes a long way to making a, a great crew member on board. And so that's the thing I, I hope that I'll bring to the, the table going forward. As a test pilot, I really wanted to get involved with the uh, new program of flying space vehicles. I got the opportunity, I was lucky enough to fly on the space shuttle for a 30 year history, you know, to finish out the space shuttle program and I was looking forward as a test pilot to fly this uh, new spaceship into the new era of space flight. One of the big parts of this new program is to do, to go into space and to uh, make it affordable not only for NASA but to also look at it from a commercial aspect uh, because these companies are also going to fly with other uh, providers besides NASA. It's a big team that makes this happen. You know, it's not just the astronaut office, it's a huge NASA team as well as the companies themselves. And it's the team that's gonna get us to that next thing. But you know, as, as part of that team, obviously the operators, the astronauts will have a big influence on that. We're part of a partnership and part of the partnership is to have uh, different abilities. And so the United States having access as being one of the major partners in the uh, group is extremely important to the effort. A big part of what I, I bring to the, this uh, effort is bringing together the different parts and the partners that are going to be necessary to make this all happen. I'm honored to get the opportunity to participate with this uh, new gr group and to work with the team to get us onto this uh, next era in spaceflight. Well, I'm extre extremely excited to get the opportunity to, uh, to go on to the new era for spaceflight. Looking forward to the new challenges and looking forward to get the America launch capability back into space from the United States. It's exciting for me because we have a chance to build upon a new launch capability for America. It's exciting to be part of a new program to give the United States launch capability back to the space station, to be part of a new test program to get U.S. vehicles back to the space station is extremely exciting. The challenge uh, from a test pilot perspective is great, and I'm just looking forward to the process to get from today all the way up to the space station. 
Well, there's a lot more than just the four of us that will be responsible for the safety and the certification of the vehicle. We have a huge team here at NASA, as well as the great teams at SpaceX and Boeing that we'll work with to try to make this vehicle as safe as possible uh, and also be as capable as possible. It's a long road, but I think uh, we have the right team put together and we'll make it work. Well, it's been over four years since we've flown the shuttle the last time. And in that time, the Soyuz has been a great vehicle to get our folks to and from the space station. The Russians have been great partners, but it's important for the United States to have its own launch capability, uh, not only for the foreseeable future, but beyond going into the Orion program and whatever holds uh, on our trip to Mars. Yes, it has been a four-year gap, which is uh, a long time in some people's opinions, but we've been working very hard to get to that point where we can launch folks from Florida again. On the day before we undocked from the space station, we presented the crew with the American flag that was flown on STS-1 with the hopes that when we returned with a U.S. vehicle, whoever was lucky enough to get up there and do that, they would be able to bring it back in, uh, to U.S. soil. So it was a tremendous honor to be able to be part of that crew part of that uh, ceremony, and uh, I can only imagine how exciting it would be to be back up there and bringing it home. I'm extremely excited about the opportunity to serve uh, the country once again and fly uh, a test vehicle, uh, which from a personal standpoint is extremely uh, interesting to me because I came from that background. Uh, that being said, uh, there's a lot of work ahead of the teams here uh, at NASA and Boeing and SpaceX to get us safely to orbit and then safely back home. Uh, it's kind of like climbing a mountain. Going uphill is only half the, half the trip. So we got to make sure we get everybody back home safely as well, and then build a reliable vehicle that continues to take our crews to the space station and back. Well, I'm really excited to be part of the new commercial crew program and hopefully be a part of the test team that's going to fly one of these new spacecraft up to the International Space Station. Um, I've had the opportunity to fly on a United States space shuttle as well as a Russian Soyuz spacecraft to the International Space Station as it was being built and then used for science. And I think this is the next step in engineering and development and research as we take our further step out of low Earth orbit into a deeper space. We have a collective number of years here in the astronaut office flying different spacecraft and so we've come to this program with different backgrounds and different experiences. I think what's good about that is uh, we can apply that experience to the, the system of the, the commercial crew spacecraft, both the CST-100 and the SpaceX vehicle. And hopefully with our experience, we'll be able to make those vehicles uh, a little bit better and offer some of uh, the, the goods and the bads that we've seen in the past with other spacecraft that we've had the opportunity to fly. The cadre of astronauts who are going to start flying these commercial crew vehicles will sort of be the, the face of the vehicles. And essentially what that means is that we'll be bringing the teams together, and not only from NASA, but also our commercial partners, Boeing and SpaceX, um, as they put a face to the spacecraft that they're building. And they get excited about actually putting human beings into space in their spacecraft. We have a lot of goals in mind, and it's taken us a while to, uh, I think, consolidate all those goals and, and form a, a concise path to get there. And the commercial crew spacecraft are a, a very important part of that step to uh, get to our goals, which is leaving low Earth orbit and going on to uh, deeper space missions. The commercial crew program will allow us to regain our capability of launching rockets from the United States with humans on board again. It's really critical for the United States to regain its own launch capability, and commercial crew uh, program will allow us to do that. We're going to be able to be launching Americans and our international partners from the U.S. to the International Space Station. That's going to allow us to further our abilities, advance our technology, so we can build the next generation of spacecraft for the next generation of, of space explorers. 
I'm going to be really excited when we get to put people on spacecraft at Kennedy Space Center. It's going to be pretty amazing for our whole country. It's actually going to be pretty amazing for the whole world when you think of the implications of this advanced technology in a spacecraft. I remember when I launched from Kennedy the first time uh, on a U.S. space shuttle and it was pretty amazing. So I can only imagine what it's going to be like after this long period of time um, to get back on a spacecraft at Kennedy and have all family and friends and people from all over the country watching. That's going to be pretty special. I think we've lost a little bit in that, of that in the last couple of years just because we are launching from so far away in Kazakhstan with the Russian space program. And so bringing back home will bring that back home to everybody here. It'll be a pretty exciting moment. A bunch of us have come from a test background as uh, aircraft flyers. It is complicated even in that realm. So I can only imagine that as we get our feet deep into the, uh, the commercial side of the space program, it's going to be pretty complicated. Well, I have had an amazing career here at NASA. I'll have to say, knock on wood, I've just been really lucky in the right place at the right time. I've got to do a lot of amazing things, uh, building the space station, then working on the space station while it was, uh, while it's now as an amazing science laboratory. Um, I felt like uh, I would love to provide my expertise uh, that I've gained over these number of years to anything new that was coming up. And the commercial crew program seemed to fit right in line. Um, seems just like a, the perfect fit to use that expertise to build a new spacecraft so the next generation of folks can fly it for a long time to come. For me, the most exciting part is going to be docking to the space station. When I was on my first flight and I was able to see the space station out of the space shuttle window for the first time, that was an amazing gold star and that is really, really cool. So I think commercial crew spacecraft with really um, amazing windows which we'll have to have to see the space station as we get closer and closer to it and get ready to dock to it, we know we've, we've made it and that will be cool. This program, I think, is going to open up the door again for kids today to go to realize that the sky isn't even the limit. There's all sorts of amazing things that we can do. Uh, first of all, you know, make aircraft, make spacecraft, and then take spacecraft and do amazing things, make a space station, and, and then go even farther. I think this program will open the door for us to leave low Earth orbit.